Don't mind us, we have social club business to attend to. We? Wendy kindly volunteered to be treasurer. I couldn't quite believe my luck. Neither could I. It's a lot to take on. Are you sure you've got time? Of course she has. She's done it for her kids' sports clubs before. She'll be fine. I suppose you know what you're doing. Oh, uh, I won't be home tonight. I've got a sitter coming so I can have dinner with Mum. Oh, she's speaking to you then. <laughs> Honey, just. You'd think I was the one who ran around behind Tanya's back, not Isaac. Cone of silence on that, all right. I'm in enough trouble. Okay, this is the list of people still owing money, and this is the list of prospects. What do I need those for? Well, you're going to get them to join. Now, this is all the bank accounts and old statements and stuff. The current stuff you can access online. And you do absolutely nothing, right? My job is to concentrate on the big picture. <laughs> I'm the ideas girl. I've got to stick with what we're good at. Okay, this is the FPOS card, and this is the pin. You'll need it to pick up the new netball uniforms tomorrow. It should be around 300 bucks. Did you ask anyone before you did that? I don't need to. I'm sorry? Well, the new netball uniforms were my big campaign platform. I won the vote, so I have to follow through. And that's order form from the shop. And you're sure there's enough money in the bank? More than enough. But Christmas is only months away, so you'll need to get on to collecting those subs. With me in charge, this will be a year to remember. A pinot gris, thanks, and a bowl of mixed olives. Sure. I'll get that. Why? Why not? I'm both drinking alone, I assume. You assume right. You live here, don't you? Upstairs? I used to. Now I'm house-sitting at TK's. Alone? No, with Gerald. He moved out of here after caring. Oh, I don't blame him for that. So no man in your life, then? What's it to you? Just curious. It's not often you find a beautiful woman drinking alone. If that is some kind of pickup line, you are way off target. I know all about you and Tanya. I've seen you together. She dumped me a couple of days ago. Really? She just soared in my estimations. Hey, what did I do? Let's see. Given that you're part of the Warner clan and that Tanya is away, I would say that you probably cheated on her. She somehow found out and dumped you. Probably by text. It's a pretty harsh assumption. Tell me I'm wrong. You are. She dumped me by phone, not text. But everything else I was spot on. And you wonder why I'm drinking alone. I have wasted far too much time on selfish little boy men like you. And I've wasted far too much time on demanding conniving women. So to answer your question, no, I was not trying to pick you up. You do realise that you just called me demanding and conniving. That's not what I meant. I will forgive you if you keep talking. Tell me who you cheated on Tanya with and why. Now, why would you want to know that? I don't like the Jeffreys much. I've had a rough couple of weeks and I could do with the entertainment. You don't like the Jeffreys, huh? Tanya in particular? Mine, actually. But you're the one doing the talking. Big man! Yo. Hey. Okay. It's not mine. It's not mine. Keep my spot warm. Are you out of your mind, bro? Penny's a judgmental freak. Just leave it, Brody. Until what? She goes on about something else and then flogs all my CDs? Or your computer, you know, there's no saying that you're not going to be next. Yeah, well, we talked about it and she knows she went too far pawning your guitar. She's sorry, it won't happen again. Dude, you're not seriously buying that. She's saying what you want to hear. Whatever it takes to get in good again. Right, so she's here watching me while I vomit, but that doesn't mean she actually cares about me. Now who's being judgmental? That's not contagious, is it? Food poisoning. But thank you for your compassion. It's the bad times that make you realise who a person really is. Penny finds me sick and she's in, elbows and all, to help. Whereas your first thought is how this affects you. All right, I know that I'm not always that flash in the friend department, but I'm thinking about you here, dude. I don't want to see you done over, and she will do you over. Is this you still miffed that I got the girl? Oh, no way. Yeah, because this is what it sounds like, and it's getting really old. Looking back, it was always hard work with Tanya, especially before she went on this holiday. Talk about moody. Turns out it was guilt, because she'd snogged another guy and not told me. What guy? 
She wouldn't say. Might have been more than a snog for all I know. At least I was upfront about it. I told her about Zoe. Only after Maya stuck her oar in. Sanctimonious piece of work she is. You do not know the half of it. So tell, come on, what's your Jeffrey story? Tanya needed to know about Isaac and Zoe. You know how sensitive she is about that stuff. Of course I do, but you should have waited until she was home. She'll never come back now. Her and Libby both on the other side of the world? Oh no, look who's here. Talk about a match made in hell. I thought you said he cheated with that woman Zoe, Chris's girlfriend. Ex-girlfriend he did. Well, he can't be with Brooke then. No, probably not. Come on, let's go through. They're talking about us. I thought I could feel a noose tightening around my neck. Oh, you mean right here? Maya, don't say anything, please. First you cheat on Tanya with Zoe, and now you're cheating on Zoe with her. Doesn't it matter to you how many people you hurt? I could ask you the same question. You've done all the damage. Me? Yes, Maya. By jumping the gun, as always. There is nothing going on between me and Isaac. Or between me and Zoe. We're all single. Me, Brooke, Zoe, Chris and Tanya. All going home to empty beds. Unlike you and your girlfriend, you're very cosy. You better hope that no one decides to mess with your lives the way that you mess with other people's. If you don't mind, we'd like to get back to our evening. I like the way you operate, Isaac Worthington. You can buy me another. Mm, my absolute pleasure. Uh, good morning. Uh, morning. What time is it? Uh, 6 30. Oh. Yeah, starting work early. I've got a lot to do. You? Oh, I start when I get there. Hard night last night. Oh, it's rather excellent, actually. Brooke's great company. Thanks. Now, I like a woman who can hold a drink. I especially like a woman who can hold a drink and look fabulous the next morning. <laughs> oh, no. He is a silver-tongued devil, but he knows that it's lost on me. And I've had enough of women. Study, exams, career, but that's my game plan. Right. Your coffee, then. Mm. Why don't we go out for breakfast? Oh, where? The Ivy? The Pennington. Do you know how much that would cost? Who cares? I'm paying. Bathroom? <clears throat> Better get ready if we're going. Oh, I can't. I can't let him pay for me. Why not? Because I hardly know him. We've probably exchanged about ten words since he arrived. So? He's a Worthington. He's rolling in cash. Oh, no, that's not the point. I'd feel... What? Like a charity case? Fine. You go to work with your cut lunch and take whatever crap comes your way, but I want more, Gerald. I deserve better, and that starts with breakfast at the Pennington, courtesy of Moneybags Isaac. Oh, see you later. Well, what do you mean, cut off? Murray, we just have to call them. They'll be reasonable. Calm down, OK? I'll phone the power company. I'll see if they'll cover us till next pay. Well, if they don't, we'll deal with it then. Babe, just trust me, OK? I'll deal with it. Now, I've got to go. OK, bye. Do they look cooler than Central's? Of course they do. That's the receipt and the FPOS card. Which you get to keep and be the boss of. Oh, these are so great. How'd you go with rounding up our stragglers? Our list of late payers. I haven't got onto that yet. Oh, no time like the present. I may as well leave these here. People can just come and get them. Don't worry about sending out an email. I'll do it. 